Hi, I'm Dr. Sakib Mansoor and uh, I'm speaking on my channel Learning Anatomy. And uh, as we know, we have started a series of lectures on the spinal cord anatomy. And uh, these days we are disc uh, discussing the white matter. And uh, today's topic is the posterior white column, which is the fasciculus gracilis and the fasciculus cuneatus. And uh, that is the posterior white column. This is posterior white column, fasciculus gracilis and fasciculus cuneatus. These uh, fibers convey the sensations of the discriminative touch, vibratory sense, and conscious muscle joint sense. And uh, the posterior white column fibers, they uh, divide into short descending fibers and the long descending fibers. The axons take their way to the spinal cord from the posterior root ganglion and reach directly to the posterior white column of the same side, dividing into short descending fibers and long descending fibers. The short descending fibers are involved. There are intersegmental reflexes. Their involvement is with the intersegmental reflexes. And the descending branches go down a variable number of segments where collateral branches shoot off from them that synapse with cells in posterior gray horn with internuncial neurons and with the anterior horn cells. So this is the summary. The pathway we are talking about is the dorsal column medial lemniscus system. And the function is the discriminative touch, conscious proprioception, vibration, and pressure. And the overview is again the three order of the neurons. First order neuron is in the cell body in the dorsal root ganglion. And the second order neuron it decussates to the opposite side. This is the great sensory decussation in the medulla oblongata. And the third order neurons are in the thalamus, VPL nucleus, ventral posterolateral nucleus of the thalamus, which reaches to the sensory cortex. And here is a very good summary, the beautiful picture. And uh, let me make it uh, even more large for you. Let us enlarge it, yes. And we discuss first this. This is the lower motor neuron, and this is the lumbar spinal cord, and this is the dorsal root ganglion. This is the first order neuron that enters this uh, system, which is, this is, is, this is the fasciculus gracilis. Medially is the fasciculus gracilis, and laterally is the fasciculus cuneatus. Their levels are different. I'm going to tell you very soon. And uh, then uh, this is the lower motor neuron and uh, this is the fasciculus cuneatus here and this is the fasciculus gracilis medially. This is the cervical spinal cord, this level. And it ascends as these are the ascending uh, segments and the ascending uh, tracks it's from the spinal cord, they go upwards to the CNS they go upward in the medulla. This is the medulla, lower medulla here. And here the great sensory decussation occurs here. Here they go to the decussate or crosses to the opposite sides. These are crossing fibers are called the internal arcuate fibers. From this, the fibers again ascend and they go as one tract into the upper medulla and here they produce medullary pyramids. This is a protuberous over the anterior part of the medulla as we study in the external features of the medulla. And there they are going as the lemniscal fibers ascending to the thalamus, VPL nucleus. From there they go to the cerebrum. Similarly, it is shown in the this diagram. And these fibers fasciculus gracilis and fasciculus cuneatus. And fasciculus gracilis, this is uh, shown from this uh, from T6 down, including lower limb. And this is the 
both fasciculus gracilis and cuneatus going upwards and here from t5 up including the fasciculus cuneatus and here they are the all the axons crossing in lower medulla right this is a sensory decussation and this is the form the medial lamniscus by the both tracts fasciculus gracilis and cuneatus here they go to the thalamus it is the third order neuron and this is the primary somatosensory cortex right so this is the thing so these are the three order of the neurons you can again check first order neuron is in the cell body dorsal root ganglion second order neuron decussate and the third order neuron are lying in the thalamus right so this is the first order neuron this is in the in the uh, dorsal root ganglion and the second order neuron this is the they, they decussate and the third order neuron are lying in the thalamus so posterior white column fasciculus gracilis and fasciculus cuneatus this is a long ascending fibers end by synapsing with cells in the posterior gray horn with internuncial neurons and with the anterior horn cells the arrangement may extend over various segments of the spinal cord similar to short descending fibers they take part in intersegmental reflexes much of the ascending fibers move upwards in the posterior white column as the fasciculus cuneatus and fasciculus gracilis fasciculus gracilis is located in whole length of the spinal cord so this is the point fasciculus gracilis remember the word g you can uh, make a mnemonic or whatever so you can see the g this fasciculus g this is gracilis is present in the whole length of the spinal cord and in it are present the long ascending fibers coming from sacral lumbar and lower six thrash six spinal nerves right so this is present in throughout the length of the spinal cord and fasciculus cuneatus is absent somewhere and is present somewhere its location is on the lateral side in the up, only upper thoracic segments and cervical segments right from t1 to t6 and tc1 to c8 a septum separates it from the fasciculus gracilis so a septum is there which separates fasciculus gracilis and fasciculus cuneatus there are present the long ascending fibers in the fasciculus cuneatus which extends from upper sixth thoracic t1 to t6 and all the cervical spinal nerves c1 to c8 so fasciculus gracilis and fasciculus cuneatus tracts ascend ipsilaterally they ascend on the same side end by synapsing on the second order neurons in the medulla in the nucleus gracilis and the nucleus cuneatus internal arcuate fibers is the name given to axons of the second order neurons they i have shown the these internal arcuate fibers in the picture already to you they move anteromedially around central gray matter cross the median plane decussating with the related fibers of the contralateral side in the sensory decussation this is the great sensory decussation occurring in the medulla already told you in the lecture on the medulla when i was uh, teaching you uh, the midbrain the medulla lecture this was a very popular lecture so fibers then go high as one compact bundle the medial lamniscus through the medulla oblongata the pons and the midbrain the fibers end by synapsing on the third order neurons present in the ventral posolateral nucleus in the thalamus axons of the third order neuron travel through the posterior limb of internal capsule and corona radiata to arrive the synesthetic area in the post central gyrus of the cerebral cortex contralateral half of the body has its representation in a united way where the hand and mouth are situated inferiorly this is already in the previous lecture i told you in the sensory homunculus a distorted human thus impressions of touch with fine gradations of intensity exact localization and two point discrimination can be recognized vibratory sense 
and position of the various parts of the body can be consciously recognized. Fascicular cuneatus. Most of the fibers in the fascicular cuneatus from the upper thoracic segments and cervical segments terminate on second order neurons of the nucleus cuneatus. These are relayed and conveyed as the axons of the second order neurons to enter the cerebellum via the inferior cerebellar peduncle of the ipsilateral side, the same side. This pathway is the cuneocerebellar tract is the same name given to this tract and the fibers are known as the posterior external arcuate fibers. This is the previously we learned the internal arcuate fibers and the, these fascicular spineatus fibers going to the cerebellum are the posterior external arcuate fibers. These fibers serve to conduct the information of the muscle joint sense to the cerebellum. I thank you very much. I uh, there was a demand uh, from the, my subscribers and from my followers, my fellow men that the uh, uh, topics should be split in short and uh, the length should be short and the uh, play um, um, should be made in the for playlists. So this is a relatively short topic. We'll be trying to make the short topics short and uh, convenient for you to make a view of a video in a shorter time. Thank you very much. So stay with us for the next topic where the fibers of the cerebellum would be discussed. The cerebellum, spinocerebellar tract.